afraid of the dark? Are you scared? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to some more Apex Nation Wrestling. Welcome back to some more ANW. Tonight we have a card full of qualifier matches for grand opportunity. Our first match of the evening is a Falls Count Anywhere match between Claire Redfield and Hinata Huga. And here we go. First match is, of course, for the qualifier of the Grand Opportunity match. Oh, that Grand Opportunity for the women's division. Big springboard connecting. Hinata picking up Claire with a big knee to the face. It goes for the pin early on. Only for a one count. Hinata not giving up, keeping the pressure on. Working the arm of Claire. Big, oh, missed the drop kick. Claire slamming Hinata's face on the ground, going to the top. Big elbow drop onto Hinata. And just kicking her in the back. Claire working the leg, picking up Hinata. Oh, Hinata's whipping her over the top, all the way to the outside. She chases after her. It's a false count anywhere, mind you. The ref following him outside the ring. Big strike combo. Oh, nice DDT by Hinata. And she just she swinging her hips around. Oh, big time hit on Claire. Missing that grab. Doesn't matter. She's going to strike her. A bunch of palm strikes to a knee to the face. To a cork standing corkscrew moonsault. To a second standing corkscrew moonsault. To the pin. The ref taking his sweet time. Only getting a one count again. Hinata can blame the ref on that one. She points to the ring. Oh, big club and forearm. Going for some sort of head scissor maneuver. Head scissor her Karana go. Again, going to work on the Claire's arm. Hinata's got full control of this match. Switchblade. To a drop kick to the side of the head. Hinata not giving up. Not. Oh, stomping her hand. Keeping up the pressure. Being relentless. Claire coming back. With some offense of her own. Throwing her into the steel steps. Going to work on Hinata's arm. A little tip for tat there. Oh, but Hinata comes back with a counter. And some rights and some strikes. Oh, with a general hip throw by Claire. Claire sizes it up. Decides she wants back in the ring. Hinata taking her time. Going in. Oh, gets caught with a kick by Claire. Claire picking up. Hinata going for the drape over the top rope. Stomp in the midsection, kicking her in the chest. Go for a kip up, just to say I'm still in this match. Hey, go for a pin. You're not going to get it. Come on now. <laughs> what were you expecting? Claire grabbing Hinata. Oh, big time kick to the face. Oh. Oh, the vicious strikes. Not stopping. Ooh. Ref getting in position. Ooh, and now they're just kicking out. Claire thought she had that. Claire not giving up, though, going straight to the top rope. Will she drop that elbow again? Oh, big time splash. Go for the cover again. Oh, and just a two. Claire cannot believe what is happening. Hinata kicking out, not giving up. Okay, Claire got the better end of that exchange. Oh, Hinata ducking the strike. Nice. Just back in this. Going for those strikes again. 
And he get Claire known for. Oh, Claire, though. Going for a springboard. And got it. All right. Well, not really. Eh, whatever. Handstand springboard. Maracarana thing. Go for a pin. It gets the win. It gets <laughs> over that move. Okay. Hinata, though, was strong in that match. But Claire Redfield advances on to the women's Grand Opportunity match at Grand Opportunity. Up next, we have a qualifier for the men's Grand Opportunity match. It is an Extreme Rules match between Black Panther and Donkey Kong. Here we go. Donkey Kong with a severe height advantage over Black Panther. Just denying Black Panther any chance of an offense. But Black Panther says, you can't stop me. Going to work on Donkey Kong. Oh, Donkey Kong catches the foot. Goes for a dragon, cor or dragon screw. Bounces off the top rope. Big time. Elbow, knee drop. Onto and just <laughs> throwing a tantrum in the middle of the ring. Donkey, oh, Donkey Kong hitting the ref by mistake. Ref should not have been there. Oh, manhandling Black Panthers, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong measures up for a big knee. What's Donkey Kong gonna do? Stomp to the midsection. Size of his foot's the entire midsection of Black Panther. It's a huge height difference here. Size difference and everything. Black Panther just sitting there taking it. Oh, midsection's really being worked. There we go. Black Panther counters. We're having a match now. Throwing Donkey Kong over the top. Sliding under the ropes. Pursuing Donkey Kong. Going for a little bit of a pose. Psyching himself up along with the fans. Catching Donkey Kong with a nice white Russian late sweep. Oh, with a nice forearm to the face. Now going to work on Donkey Kong's leg. Black Panther missing that first kick, but connecting with the other two. Again, taunting. Really trying to psych himself up. Oh, big, powerful knee taking Donkey Kong to the ground. But he's not done. He kicks him with forearm to the face. Black Panther being relentless. Knowing he's got to stay on him, but then going to the ring, saying, All right, let's do this. Going for some strikes, puts him to the corner. Oh, just knees in the corner. Black Panther, oh, Donkey Kong with a counter, kicking him. See, it's my turn now. Oh, just impactful DDT. Switchblade by. Black Panther go for the pin. Ooh, that was closer than anyone thought it would be in this early on. Black Panther picking up Donkey Kong with a back, the spinning back fist. <laughs> oh, a short clothesline just dropping Donkey Kong. Black Panther to the top rope. Big time stomp to Donkey Kong. Go for the cover. Could this be it? Oh, you can't get any closer than that. Donkey Kong's trying to stay in. Oh, oh, just reverse him. Punches Black Panther in the face. Donkey Kong going to the outside. Oh, Black Panther giving chase with a huge springboard drop kick to the outside and just mounted Donkey Kong and punching him in the face. Stomp for good measure. Picking DK up. Whipping him. Nowhere, apparently. Going to work on that arm. Keep working on that midsection. Black Panther picking up DK. Trying the whip again. Just cannot get the whip into the stairs. Frustrated rolls inside the ring. Rolls back outside of the ring. So what is going on here? The short clothesline turning Donkey Kong inside out. Picking up Donkey Kong again. Stomp in the mix section. Oh. What is he going for here? He's trapping an arm. He's grabbing the other arm. He's got his wrist. Just wrench it on him and drops the knees to the back. 
don't know what the fans are chanting there. Oh, oh, Black Panther with a counter. Donkey Kong unable to get any momentum here and just kicks to the face by Black Panther. Oh, Black Panther with just a double leg takedown just mounted DK and punching him in the face. Black Panther needs to get DK in the ring. Pinfalls have to happen in the ring. Vicky goes outside realizing that. It just goes to town, striking him again. Oh, just picks him up and punches them to the face. He's going to work on that midsection again. He's going to work on the arms. Trap the arm. Grab the other arm. Wrench it down that wrist. Double knees to the back again. Black Panther thinking about it. He's going for it. He's getting a foreign object. He's got a sledgehammer. Goes to the middle of the ring. Decides to go out. Donkey Kong grabs sledgehammer from him. I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, then it hits Black Panther in the face with it. And goes to town on him. Ooh. Black Panther kicking it out of Donkey Kong's hand. So like, get back out here. Just going for those strikes again. It just a punch to the face. Ignoring the weapon he grabbed out himself. Got to work on that arm again. A little bit of midsection work as well. Donkey Kong must be in a world of hurt. Black Panther is not let up. Black Panther picking up Donkey Kong yet again. Oh, Donkey Kong with a reversal. Now Donkey Kong's going to work. Oh, bust open. Black Panther did that kick while staying on his feet, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Donkey Kong doing to Black Panther what Black Panther wanted to do to Donkey Kong so many times. Donkey Kong not letting up. He knows he has to keep the pressure on. Big time suplex. Donkey Kong, where's he going? He's going to the opposite side of the ring. Just, just, just going the long way around. I guess he needed a little bit of a jog. Then going to the ins, just going into the ring. Black Panther follows him. That is where this match has to end. Oh, big right hand. Could this be it? Oh, Black Panther staying alive. Stay, keeping this match going. DK picking up Black Panther like it's nothing. Dropping him down. What is this? Big time shooting star press. Well, no. I guess it's just a, a moonsault. <laughs> He's got a bat, ladies and gentlemen. DK's got a bat. The shooting star press would have been him facing the other way. That's just a moonsault. Oh! Oh! Vicious strikes, but Black Panther not going down. Takes the bat from DK, dropping DK to his knees, then putting him on the ground and not giving up. Switchblade of his own by DK. Picking up Black Panther. Just lifting up Black Panther. Puts him in the... No. Just bashes him against the corner and throws him away. Big... Oh, big knee to the head. Oh, just a straight punches on to Black Panther. He goes for the cover. Oh! What's it going to take to take Black Panther out? He's calling for it. DK's calling for it. The big punch. That has to be it, ladies and gentlemen. How could Black Panther kick out of this? And Donkey Kong is moving on to the men's grand opportunity match. What a match that was. Black Panther had the offense for most of that match. Relentless. Did not want to give up. Your winner is Donkey Kong.
using his size advantage, his massive arms, his massive fists to bust open Black Panther and to get the win. Up next, we have a women's qualifier for the Grand Opportunity match at Grand Opportunity versus with Sam with Samus versus Tifa. And here we go. Oh, Tifa blocking that strike from Samus, but not blocking the second springboard forearm. Samus continue to strike, going for a German, hangs on. Oh, just turns her, rips her around, ripcord, choke, uh, clothesline. Second rope, ooh. Missing a Tifa striking of her own. Samus giving it right back to her though. Tifa with a counter, with a kick. And an uppercut and some strikes. Grabbing her. It's a snap suplex. Picking Samus up, going for those strikes again. Tifa known to be a striker. Picks up Samus. Oh, Samus drops down. Goes for strikes over. Oh, going for a springboard, but uh, Tifa catches her. Oh, Tifa lifts her up and kicks her in midair. Got her by the foot. Go to work on that knee, on that thigh. Tifa picking Samus back up. Going for some kicks again, some strikes. She knows how effective they could be. Oh, Samus counters with an elbow to her knee. Oh, Tifa grab double leg takedown, just goes to some punches, some strikes, some palms. It <laughs> goes for a taunt. And some more just, well, laughs. Some more punches, some kicks. Tifa with a springboard, misses. Completely misses, misjudged the positioning on that one. She's angry at herself for doing it though. Grabs a hold of Samus. Goes for those strikes again. Will she keep the bridge? No. She could have kept the bridge and gone for a pinfall there. Instead just wants to go to work on her arm some more. Oh, we've seen this move. And we know it can be effective. Sort of. <laughs> Tifa picking up Samus again. Oh, dropping her on her face. Going for the pin. Two, three. Oh, Samus just got her butt handed to her. Your winner. Moving on to the women's grand opportunity match at grand opportunity. It's Tifa with the best replay of the night. There we go. With a move that ended it. Tifa moves on. Samus, got to go back to the drawing board. She may not be the best professional wrestler. But she's a good bounty hunter. Up next is another women's qualifier match for the Grand Opportunity match. It's a no-holds-barred match with Urza versus Gamora. And here we go. This is a no-holds-barred match. Urza whipping Gamora into the corner. There's a choking Gamora with her foot. Oh, Gamora counter with her own. Going to work on picking up Scarlet, dropping her on her knee. Not once, but twice. And throwing her to the side. Going for an early cover. Just getting a one count. Gamora, oh, club and blow to the side of Scarlet's head. Urza, I keep on saying Scarlet. It's oh, well, Urza Scarlet, but Urza's head. Urza throwing Gamora over the top rope, grabbing that arm, pulling it, trying to dislocate it, and it just goes some straight punches to Gamora's head. Does Urza? Urza's measuring. What she got? Oh, just some knees to the gut. Going to go for that arm again. She really wants to dislocate it. Urza picking up Gamora. Throwing Gamora. Oh, to the barricade. And just letting Gamora sit there as Urza sits in the corner. Urza 
Not the wisest strategy, letting Gamora just get, oh, Urza baited. She was playing possum. Gamora, did I say Urza? Gamora was playing possum. Urza with a counter of her own, going back to those strikes. Grabbing her, putting those knees to her body yet again. Going back to the ring. This is a no holds barred match, Urza. You do not need to break the count. Urza just waiting for Gamora to get up. Does she have something planned? Oh, she just waits patiently, bides her time, gets Gamora back in the ring. No, and that's where a match has to end. Gamora, though, picking up Urza and just throws her over her shoulders. And pumps herself up and pounding on her chest. Stuffing Urza, picking her up. Big time power bomb. Goes for the cover. And gets a two count. Gamora, big time splash. And just gets a one. Gamora is going for a lot of covers in this match. Stomping on the midsection of Urza. Grabbing her for some sort of cross face with her knee in her back. Ooh, Urza though, getting out of that with a hurry. Picking up Gamora. Big time, kind of Falcon Arrow-esque but with Inferno Fireman's carry. I don't know what you want to call that. Gamora sweeping the leg of Urza, going to the top. Waiting, waiting for Urza to get up. Urza though, taking her time. Oh, taking her time. Oh, not rightfully, I thought rightfully. No, okay. Gamora slamming Urza onto her knee. Going for another cover. Just getting that one count. Gamora picking Urza up for another powerbomb. This time a sit-out powerbomb. Surprised she didn't hold on for the cover there. Going back to the top. What she got in mind. Big time splash but misses. Urza though going for a taunt for some reason. Paying for it. Gamora picking Urza back up. Urza slides off the back. Grabs the hold of Gamora. Whips her over. Drops a knee to her face. Then going to go to work on that back. With a solid kick. Pull that arm again. Urza really likes to dislocate arms. Urza grabbing hold of her. With the head scissors now. And punch to the face for good measure. And then goes for a cover of her own. Just getting a two count. Gamora getting back up with a hurry. But Urza's there. Whips her into the corner. Urza trapping a leg. Kicking the ankle. Throwing her back into the corner. Oh, with a high knee with a bulldog combo. With some distance traveled on that bulldog. And Urza grabbing the back. Choking. Pick her up, slamming her onto the ground, going for a cover. Urza moving on. That was a quick match. It was a hard hitting match, but it was quick. And your winner of moving on to the women's Grand Opportunity match at Grand Opportunity is Urza Scarlet. It was a good match. Hard fought by both women. That light's in a bad position. <laughs> oh, what great replay that is. And the big knee. Look at the distance traveled on that Bulldog. And then the win, which we didn't really get to see. Urza stoked about her win. Looking forward to that ladder match. And your main event for this evening is a last man standing match between the Joker and Sting. Of course, this is a qualifier match for the men's grand opportunity. And here we go. The main event of the evening, a last man standing match. Sting going to work on the Joker. Dropping the Joker on his face. Going for that kick. I think he missed it, though. Sting picking up the Joker. The Joker, though, with the rights of his own. Man, slap. A little bit of disrespect. What would you expect from the Joker? Trapping that arm, though. Getting some booze in the crowd. Missing that right completely. Whipping him to the other side. 
go for a bulldog of his own. Maybe kind of a famous there. Don't know if he got that leg over his head or not. They going for some rights on just Stinger. He's picking up Sting. Sting though, sweeping the leg. Going to the top. Maybe a mistake there, Sting. Big time mistake. The Joker is there waiting and still waiting. Sting unrightfully got that off. <laughs> the Joker just, I guess, asking for the punishment. Sting working that nerve there at the shoulder. Going for some kicks. Going for some stomps. Stomp first, then kick, you know. Sting picking up Joker with a nice suplex. Sting rolling over the Joker and going for some punches of his own. Oh, still going for work on his punches. Gets the Joker, gets the ropes, grabs him. Trapping that leg. Gonna wrench on that leg. Get some work done on it. Oh, the nice chop. Going for the punch. Dropping Joker down. Sting waiting. This is the last man standing. You must have your opponent down on the map for 10 seconds untouched. Joker taking his time. There's no way he's out yet. Really taking his time, Joker. Okay. <laughs> Wait to the end of the count. Oh, Sting with just a short DDT. Shaking his arms, loosening him up. Grabbing hold of the Joker, bringing it back up. Joker blocks the chop. He goes to work on Sting. Grabbing up with a neck breaker of his own. Nice kick to the back by the Joker. The Joker with a springboard sent on. Joker picking up Sting again. Kicked him. Going for it. Oh. The good old uppercut. Oh, with a nice taunt. Ooh, Joker looked like he was going to go break up the count there. Does he believe he has Sting down for the count? Sting up at six. Oh, just tearing at his face. The Joker very pleased with himself after that move. Sting is up. Though Sting goes in and misses. And so does the Joker in his move. Sting picking up the Joker. Throws him to the outside. Sting going to wait. There's the ref. We're at five. Six. Seven? Seven. The Joker taking his time. If he's getting back up, Eight. he's getting back up. The Joker just waiting, recovering some stamina. Oh, Sting getting whipped into the stairs by the Joker. The Joker picking up Sting by the hair, choking him, going for a submission. I guess you wear down your opponent a little bit here. But there is no tapping out in a last man standing match. Sting had enough. Going for some elbows of his own. Getting out of that submission hold. Joker. Oh, Sting with a counter. Sting's got his guard up. Sting saying, no, I'm not going to the steel steps again. The Joker taunted Sting rolling in. Sting getting the upper hand of that. Stops him. Picks him up. Going for a power bump to the outside. Oh, that had to hurt. The ref taking his time to do the count again. There we go. Two, three. Sting standing confidently in the middle of the ring, saying, I've got Joker down for the 10. I don't need to be out there. Six, seven. seven. Haunting him now. Eight. Nine. nine. Oh, he gets up at the nine. Sting rolling back out there. Keep, keep up his pressure on the Joker. Double. Atomic drop. <laughs> Sting.
throwing the Joker into the ro into the steel steps. Pounding his chest, getting fired up. Says, hey, I'll go back to the ring. The Joker has been punished in this match, being thrown over the top rope to the mats on the floor twice. Six. Ref is at six. Seven. Actually, you know, outside the ring, right there at the guy. Ref is actually doing his job. Nine. Ten. And your winner is Sting. The ref took his time there on that 10 count, though. I'll tell you what. He's at 9. He looked at Sting like, okay, I guess this is over. And then hit the 10. That's a great replay right there, ladies and gentlemen. Can't ask for better. And your winner of the main event in moving on to the men's Grand Opportunity match. At Grand Opportunity is Sting. Thank you so much for joining me this evening for another episode of ANW. I hope you come back next time. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for watching that video. And if you liked it, make sure you give that video a like. And also comment down below. And while you're here, subscribe for more amazing content. And go check out another one of the gaming videos over on this side. And then you can click up there. Wait up there. Boop, boop. Then you can subscribe or head over to my hobbies channel over here where you can watch me paint Optimus Prime, you know, the Transformer, more than meets the eye, over there. And also subscribe by clicking up there. And until next time, I'm Apex Reaper. Y'all stay positive. Thanks for watching.